Hi, Lorraine. Hi. Uh, it's nice to, to see that you're you're healing up from your experience last Wednesday. Uh, we were really surprised to see you were arrested. Uh, can you tell us anything about about that experience without being, you know, I don't want to yeah. necessarily upset you, but I know that it's uh, it's got to be something that's a little bit emotional sometimes. Yeah, it, um, well, when I was sitting here talking with the ladies, uh, the one thing that, um, that I find is the most uh, is that um, uh, people don't even uh, realize half of the sacrifice that I've made uh, doing this. Um, and it wasn't <clears throat> it wasn't something that I went out there on that day to you know intend to uh, do. I had no intentions of going out and getting arrested. My daughter and I spoke you know a number of times of you know what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, and uh, she always said you know it's going to be her if anything you know. Um, I never did. I always said you know I'm going to be the one to walk away because I have you know the most to lose right now. Uh, I just got my teaching degree and everything, and so if I get, you know, charged or convicted, I could lose my license. Um, so my teaching license. So you know, that's one of the major, you know, things like the major uh, sacrifice, I guess, that I did give. Well, you know, when you when, when when you mention that, that almost seems to be backwards because, in a way, aren't you teaching on that moment, yeah. teaching everybody else to respect the environment? So isn't that the backwards way the world is today? Yeah, unfortunately it is. The, uh, the, the things that we have to do... The, the peacemakers or the people that want to tell the truth are, are punished. And the people who make war or, or, or war on the environment are, are rewarded. Yeah, for sure. They get their pockets lined. They get you know, their houses. They get you know, everything else. And we're the ones that have to sit back and suffer and figure out, okay, what now? Yeah. And still, I, I'm still at that point, you know, what now? You know, I'm here with, you know, all my brothers and sisters from all nations. Um, and, I, you know, I was told that there's no restrictions on me. I was told I have to behave. Um, I, well, you, 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 seem, you seem to be behaving <laughs> very well today. Uh, in and, my mind, I was behaving that day. Well, you too. were. You were, because I was there, yeah. and I didn't think that there was any reason to arrest you. No. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's my my vote yeah. for, for for what it mattered it didn't matter very much because there was 50 policemen there that day. Yeah. So anyway, thanks very much for talking to us today. Okay, thank you.